Hi everybody, Aaron, African Meat here. Thank you for coming back to my channel. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do a blank for a plate made out of wood, honeycomb, and a resin that's got the amber honey color in for a friend of mine, Paul Mayer from Tool Metrics. Join me, let's go. Morning everybody, Aaron, African Meat, and here I'm doing a blank that I'm going to use with honeycomb, and that's for a good friend of mine in the, in the USA, and he's going to do the, the work, I'm just going to do the blank. So I've got a round disc of wood, I marked the center for easy, the same thing on the other side. So I'll have a reference point for further work. Now I see that there is a place here that I missed. So I'm going to use this one as the part of my honeycomb. Now freehand, I hope you can see. Freehand, I'm going to do a river. I like rivers and the same thing I'm going to do on the other hand on the other side okay bear with me okay now this one will move to the benzo I'm going to follow the lines that I made before that looks like a river. I'm going to follow them on my benzo. cut it freehand so if it's not exactly on the on the line don't worry about it it's freehand as a base I'm using PET um, food grade so nothing sticks to it and it's easier to work and I'll show you now why okay because I need to put it together now because of the size of the blank, it will not fit into my pressure pot. So it will have to be outside. And now what do I do? I going to mark a few of those with hot gun glue and take the center out. The idea behind it is we keep the circle all the time the same. So this one will hold it and this one will hold it. We'll let it get cold a little bit before we removing the center. For the resin not to flow out, we need to close it here.
now we have a complete um, circle. I left a gap underneath here and a gap underneath here. The only reason I left a gap is, um, and I'll show you the gap, because the honeycomb is a little bit thinner than my blank. So we will have to work, uh, Paul will have to work according to the honeycomb, but I left it on both sides, so it will be easier to work with it. I hope you can see, but I've got a piece of plastic, a piece of PVC, and I'm going to close here, so the resin won't come out. So I'm going to cut two pieces. Um, orange flow, losing only a little bit because I want it to be very similar to honeycomb, but I don't, I want it to be see through. drop of yellow and one drop of yellow Twenty four hours later, it's ready. I had a slightly sippage here, but otherwise, it came right. I'm now going to take it off. I'm going to remove the glue around and take it off. As you can see, I had a little bit of slippage. That's why I'm putting hot gun glue around it. Perfect. Hallelujah. And it's ready. Center, center. Let's see what Paul would with it. Here you are, it's on the way to you, Paul. Cheers.